welcome back everyone so we are getting into a very important part which is the binomial approximations uh, so there are uh, there is actually two types of it uh, i'll discuss uh, one at a time so one is uh, you know approximating values like uh, let's say 1.03 4 to the power 5 or something uh, i hope that everybody is aware of the binomial expansion if you are not then just ask us separately we will we'll guide you over that so 1.03 whole to the power 5 the trick about the approximation is we will approximate it to the three terms only the first three terms only so that is 1 plus the second term is 5 into 0 0.03 so basically what we are doing is we are just treating this as something like this I thought I hope that part is understood we are treating this as such so what you have is 1 plus 5 into 0 0.03 into 5c2 sorry into plus 5c2 into 0 0.03 whole square and that that's it I mean this much is okay because 0 0.03 cube and on would be very very low values we don't have to get into that so what you have is 5 into 0 0.03 so that is 0.15 so what you have is 1 plus 0.15 and then you have this 0 0.03 whole square is 0 0.0009 into 10. So that is 0 0.009. So now again we can approximate this to 1.16, right? So roughly we can say that 1.03 whole to the power 5 is 1.16. So this much of approximation is okay. Alright. Uh, and actually it would work out to be 1.16 because there will be some carryovers and everything pushed from the right side. So 1.16 is a good enough approximation. It, it also works for uh, uh, numbers like this. Uh, so if you have 10.5 to the power 7, let's say. I, I can treat this as so, right? I mean, I can, I can treat this as uh, 1.05 to the power 7 divided by 10 to the power 7. I can treat it so. Now, now this part, we can apply the binomial. Uh, this, this whole part. We can apply the binomial. And then simply divide by 10 to the power 7. So shift 7 decimal points. That's it. So uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Should I do? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other way around. Anyhow. Uh, so I mean, the other way around also works. I mean, 0 0.105 and all. Uh, but again, for that values, we can we can even approximate it to two decimal places. Uh, two two terms only. So this is one way of approximating. So when when we are trying to approximate uh, values like such, uh, that is one part of binomial. Another is uh, the the other type. I mean the on which uh, the variable is in, 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 included inside it. So suppose I need to find that one plus uh, let's say point zero three whole to the power n uh, and this is greater than or equal to something right I mean some some constant value that has been given to us okay so again if I apply the binomial on this side so what you have is 1 plus n into 0 0.03 plus nc2 into 0 0.03 whole square must be greater than or equal to some the same thing now in these kind of cases I mean we can test it using the options also. I'm just approximating this to the first three terms, and then just by testing options, we can find that which 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 of the options, which of the given values of n, is exceeding the required value. So I'm not making that exact question up. So once we are discussing actual questions, we will have a little more clarity on this. Uh, so but just try to understand. I mean the binomial, the first three terms approximation works when we have uh, a scenario like this 1 plus x whole to the power n okay we have something like this now n might be given and might uh, maybe a variable so in the second type uh, n is a variable in the first type n is given so whatever it is I mean uh, we don't care about it the only thing that that must happen is that x must be significantly
less than 1. Now, it's a very difficult one to understand straightforward what is significantly less than 1. Uh, let me put it in this way. 10% or less. So basically what I'm trying to say is the value of x is less than or equal to 0.1. If this is satisfied, then we can definitely apply a binomial expansion on this over the first three terms and that would work. So thank you for joining in and uh, we would continue the discussions from here with uh, the other part. Uh, so that is the end of the advanced calculation. If you have any questions, you can keep posting in the session itself. So we can you know take those forward. So thanks again.